Next up, we've got uh, Lonnie Evans and Jill Hayhurst, and they're from a uh, volunteer Otago and the University of Otago. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Lani Evans. I'm the manager at Volunteer Otago in Dunedin and the co-convener of the Regeneration Project. Um, I've been working with community and youth-based projects uh, in, a in a variety of ways for the last five or six years, and my primary areas of interest are around promoting generosity, sustainability, and community connection. Hi everyone, I'm Jill Harris. I'm starting a PhD at Otago, hopefully, I just realized. <laughs> not accepted yet. Um, and I've been working with youth in the community for the last five or six years, and um, I did a master's on enhancing youth resilience, and I'm really interested in community engagement and social capital. And I recently did a research project for the Office for the Community and Voluntary Sector and the Generosity Hub on generosity in young people in Otago schools. And I was basically exploring the experiences and perspectives of young people as they relate to generosity. And I found lots of great stuff, great project to be involved in, talked to nice people all day long about nice things. Um, young people were very engaged in their communities. They organized big things like benefit concerts to raise money for overseas orphanages. And they were also involved in kind of smaller things, you know, making cookies for their friends if their friends are sad or leaving post-it notes for their teachers when their teachers are being particularly nice or entertaining, things like that. Um, and that they also spoke really, really well about generosity and the cycle of giving. Um, they were interested in it, they thought it was important, and they wanted more. So they wanted more opportunities to be engaged in their communities. They wanted, they are really aware of role modeling and the school culture around generosity and whether their school valued it or not. Um, and they wanted more opportunities to celebrate generosity in their schools, with their friends, and in their communities. So we thought we'd give you a few examples of some really inspiring young people that we've had the privilege of meeting. Um, this is Johnny O'Donnell. He is an incredibly inspiring young man. He is from the Nelson Motueka area. And a couple of years ago, in response to um, things that he saw happening in his community and um, things that were affecting his friends, he started up an organization called SAVE. Students Against Violence Everywhere. Um, that organization is still growing. It's spread around the country and it's doing some really good work. Johnny's also um, been really active in the Nelson City Youth Council and recently, as a young person, he has made the decision to uh, leave school and pursue um, the things that he's really passionate about and um, you know, use his skills really well looking at youth advocacy in politics and helping organizations work better with young people. And this is Rick Swan and he is just finishing up high school in Auckland and he's really passionate about climate change. He's done some amazing stuff. He was head of the Enviro group at his school and they did things like um, waste, water and energy audits. Uh, he was funded by UNICEF to go to Copenhagen last year to represent New Zealand as a young person on the UN and this year he's going to be going to Cancun, I think probably pretty soon. Um, he also organizes youth forums and whole bunch of other stuff. I tried to make myself notes because he did so much stuff, but um, uh, 350 events as well. He's rad. Cool. And Rosie Herstel, who's a 17-year-old who's just finished uh, high school at Takapuna Grammar in Auckland. Um, Rosie was prefect at her school. She also organized events for Earth Hour, for 350's International Days of Action. She was a delegate at the Sir Peter Blake Environment Forum. And she's also presented a number of times to her local community board on various topics, including public transport for young people. And she's also organized coastal cleanups and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also oh, cool. Um, one thing that um, we've definitely noticed working with young people and also is really highlighted in the research is that a key thing that um, helps young people get involved is support. So in 2008, the Regeneration Project was started um, Regen is a network of young changemakers from around the country who get together to provide each other with support, networking opportunities, inspiration and skill sharing. Um, we do this through an online network which is private so only registered um, young people, youth workers and um, tuakana can, can get involved in that. We also have regional and local events around the country and the purpose of those events is for idea sharing, inspiring each other, collaboration, mentoring, all sorts of good things. 
The organisation operates on a Tuakana Tena model, which is like a big brother, little brother kind of thing, and that represents the, um, the idea that we all have areas that we're expert in and we all have areas that we need to learn in. And so that's a constantly changing thing. There's not like a leader and a, a follower kind of thing. It's everyone has different parts and different points in time when they're giving the advice or the information. Um, and in 2011, we are having our biggest project yet. We are doing um, a tour of the country. We're going to be cramming 15 young people and young leaders into the fan and spending five months on the road from March to August next year. Um, in the van there's going to be people with a whole heap of different skills, people who've got expertise around sustainability issues, social enterprise, global issues and of course generosity. Um, we're going to be going around to each region and we're going to be doing in schools workshops, community forums, weekend camps for young leaders and action events. Um, there's a couple of reasons why we decided to do this. One is an acknowledgement that young people don't often have the resources to come to national gatherings or, um, or bigger events, and this, is, this conference is one way of, of solving that problem. Um, and it's also an opportunity for us as an organisation that's relatively new to have a good understanding of what's going on around the country and where we can be most useful. And I am going on the road trip so I can study them. Um, I'm really excited about the chance to engage with between 5,000 and 7,000 young people. Um, we are expecting that by building up social networks and linking young people to their community leaders and providing skills and training, there will be all sorts of wonderful outcomes, just, not just for the community but also psychological outcomes, um, such as resilience and self-esteem, self-efficacy, increases in generosity and community engagement. Um, and there's lots of reasons for us to be excited about this project, but one of the things that, that I'm really keen to see is we, at the moment we've got lots of people doing stuff in isolation and this is another um, opportunity for them to start working together and collaborate and I think that there's a chance that they will have a really big snowball effect and create more capacity for um, the young people and for communities around the country. And it's something we've already seen with the Regeneration Network is that young people come to the events and then they go back to their communities and do all sorts of amazing fun stuff like river cleanups and and concerts. Cool, so how can you get involved because we know you want to. Um, one, of the, one of the biggest things that I'd like to, to say to everybody in all of the different places who are watching this um, is that it's important to support young people in your community, to give them uh, chances to engage in a meaningful way, but even more than that it's about recognising the fact that young people are not the leaders of tomorrow, they're not the leaders of the future, they're leaders in their own right right now. That's something we need to acknowledge and support. Um, also, you can offer us help. We will be coming to your community sometime next year. So if you are involved in an organization that you think we should have connections to, or if you have a lot of beds or some food, um, <laughs> one thing, we'll be really role modeling generosity next year because we are all doing this on a voluntary basis. So um, lots of ways that you can get involved. Cool. And we'd just like to um, finish by saying thank you all for being awesome. You're all doing great work around the country. And yay. Thanks for so much.